one unintended consequence that we probably know will happen is whatever President Trump decides to do with this situation, it will be fodder for the Democrats to criticize him for. Oh, I mean, I tell you what, they don't miss an opportunity to criticize the president. And we saw some of that over the weekend because there was some whistleblower who's come out. And this is such a bunch of baloney, in my opinion, to come out and share private, confidential I mean, essentially secret conversations that should be classified at some level between President Trump and the leader of another country. Now, there's a whole bunch of backstory here that the media isn't giving you. They're just simply trying to trot the story out as though President Trump tried to pressure the Ukrainians to investigate Joe Biden and his son. Well, that's not really what happened. What actually happened is the Ukrainians have been asking to try to share this information with the Trump administration that they already have and had been frustrated on many different levels to doing that. They've given it to a private lawyer who was supposed to hand walk it to the Department of Justice, and apparently that lawyer took it to the wrong Department of Justice and took it to the Southern District of New York offices, which are highly liberal, and where it got buried instead of taking it to the D.C. offices. But here's what I want to say. I mean, Joe Biden was all over the place this weekend, and we're going to share some of that with you. And and just listen up, because... You know, this is the whole story. The story is about Joe Biden going to Ukraine and getting a prosecutor who was investigating an energy company in Ukraine that had hired Hunter Biden to help them with this problem. He got that prosecutor fired. Now, Ukraine has a lot of trouble with corruption, and this was an anti-corruption prosecutor. This was essentially somebody who should have been a national hero. And Joe Biden got him fired. Now, let's hear this in Joe Biden's own words at a Council on Foreign Relations event where he makes this into kind of a joke. Now, listen in, because this is the truth of the story. I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko. They would take action against a state prosecutor, and they didn't. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. Got fired. Oh, mm. so, so so Biden said, I'm not giving you a billion dollars from the United States unless you fire that state prosecutor. Now, does that sound like corruption to you? Why did he want the prosecutor fired so bad, right? Mm-hmm. Well, because the guy was investigating a company that his son had a big interest in. But now you listen to Joe Biden over the weekend. Listen to how irritated he gets with Peter Ducey. When Peter asked him a question about what's going on in this whole story. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. And so how do you know? Let's talk about, here's what I know. I know Trump deserves to be investigated. He is violating every basic norm of a president. You should be asking him the question. Why is he on the phone with a foreign leader? trying to intimidate a foreign leader if that's what happened that appears what happened you should be looking at trump everybody looked at this and everybody's looked at it and said there's nothing there ask the right questions okay but if you've never spoken to your son he be impeached for this depending on what the what the house finds it, it, he could be impeached but i'm not making that judgment now the house should investigate it the house should investigate this this appears to be an overwhelming abuse of power to get on the phone with a foreign leader who is looking for help from the United States and ask about me and imply things, if that's what happened, that appears to be what happened. We know that's what Giuliani did. This is outrageous. You have never seen anything like this from any president. Well, first of all, Biden's full of it because that's not what happened. There was no intimidation. There was no quid pro quo. But let's just... Flip back to what Joe Biden said, right? Talk about intimidation. He said, I'm getting on the plane in six hours. You don't fire that prosecutor. You ain't getting the billion dollars. And, well, son of a gun, they fired the prosecutor. That's intimidation. Joe Biden's the one who tried to intimidate Ukraine, not Donald Trump. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.